Hello, my name is Jules, and I'm a junior from Westside High School. And this is my poem, The Dead Name Eulogy. Here we mourn the passing of me, October 1st, 2020, 944 AM. She was well loved by no one who truly understood her. Left quite the uprising legacy, just entering into high school when the universe struck and took her away from us. I apologize to the entourage, have my attention. Close friends and loved ones were aware of a name she preferred to be called and something about preferring different pronouns. But the sheet says, yes, yes, excuse me. Hello, who put the deceased in charge of writing this? You've known me for a while and I knew her very well. Let me ask the entourage, have you ever been told to love yourself? Or have you seen that phrase on bumper stickers, motivational posters, or even heard it in song lyrics? Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. How can you love when the love for your own body doesn't have a physical representation? The pure distaste of your own flesh is all you can think about. Here he is, a baby boy standing here silently. Silently. Isn't he beautiful? He's got a deep voice and a confident mind until his words start to unwind and he will finally realize he's not the person he wishes he was. Climbing above all his mental obstacles in public opticals is where we scurry up his arms like bugs. Give me a hug, baby boy. I see you. Screaming in a crowded room, no voice to be heard, making an unseen scene. Internalize your heavy breathing. Are you afraid of being looked at by those blinded by a binded? body. You should have wore a bigger t-shirt today. Dysphoria. You felt it. Slicing through your skin as if it was trying to dissect the baby boy right out of me. Him. And you could feel the thorns piercing through every vein, straining themselves around every limb like a sadistic corset. Trying to compress and crush his emotions the same as he does his chest. They say boys aren't supposed to cry. It's different when you're made to cry. May, may, may my own death be right in the eyes of the Lord. I couldn't tell you if God created me because maybe he gave me a canvas or a pre-completed painting. In the way an artist can create new over an already inked tattoo, I feel I created my identity over the person life gave me. Sometimes I envy my, I envy my friends who can draw because then maybe I could paint the person hiding in my body, a body to match the voice of my writing. I can close my eyes and I become jewels, look like me, sound like me, but then I open them again to a world where I don't feel like me, don't look like me, don't sound like me. The sappy photo wall of memories, not one of them is a true self-portrait. I was with her when she passed. Her dying words included one hearty salute and the words, happy birthday. Death by my signature execution wrote herself away. What a way to go. Till death do us part, nothing will ever stop me from being me. This is the moment where I simultaneously leap out of the casket, past the podium, and tear away my tux. Because the real me is back from the dead. Not reborn, but revived. Testosterone being my defibrillator and top surgery, the ever-awaited pulse that keeps me going. I've been given a second chance to live my life as me. Thank you everybody for attending. This isn't a funeral, this is a wake. Because one day I'll open up my eyes, look like me, sound like me, and feel like me. I bet if she was still here today, she'd have one thing to say. You're awake, finally. <laughs>